Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Forza Motorsport 6 Apex running on Intel HD 620 graphics on a Core i3-7100U. And as you can see here, we have reduced the game to 720p and the minimum detail settings. Um, I've forced it onto the minimum settings, but really I didn't see much difference between this and Dynamic. Um, it's possible that just by forcing it to run minimum you may get some more consistent in your frame rates. I'm not entirely sure on that front though, like I say, I didn't see a huge or particularly noticeable difference. And looking in game, we can see here the frame rates vary between about 20 and 30 frames per second. Um, the game does have a good resistance to screen tearing, I really didn't notice a lot of it during play. Um, almost, I believe, because this is a sort of Windows 10 store application, it may be being a modern style app it does something even though vsync has disabled something relating to that um, so it was avoiding that quite well but i did notice it did feel like there was a bit of a stutter in the game itself um, and while i was able to play reasonably well um, and this is a 16 car ai race so it will be relatively demanding on the processor and graphics proportion, uh, portion of the chip um, it just seemed a little inconsistent its frame rates at times you know, it felt like it was delivering some then skipping one um, and that just made it a little bit tricky to be precise but overall the game looks reasonably good I'd say it would be nice if there was just a little bit more consistency in the frame rates and just eliminating that stutter but if you want to play the game and particularly this Apex version of it is free on Windows 10 from the store or certainly was when I got it um, so it's worth a go, see how you get on. Um, for me, I would probably look at some other racing titles that might just give slightly better performance, uh, even if there's a bit of tearing, just with slightly better frame rates. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.